Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to continue on with the Pi Hosted series, which is showing you guys one of my favorite dockers to be used on the Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. Now, if you guys have any software that you guys religiously use on your Docker setup, I really want to hear about it because I'm always looking for new software. Now, I'm not talking about services like WireGuard or even torrenting because those constantly run all day long. If anything, I probably use my WireGuard more than the software that I'm talking about now. But yeah, if you guys have any software that you guys recommend, list it down in the comments down below because I want to check it out. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, I do have a Pi hosted series where I actually created this app template made for Portainer, mainly geared for SBCs like Raspberry Pi. So all the dockers in there works for ARM and ARM64. So yeah, basically Raspberry Pi, Kados, Pineboard, all that stuff that has an ARM CPU, you can use my Portainer app template for. It'll mostly be supported. I also do have this website called pihosted.com, which I'll leave a link down in the description below. It'll show you how to get everything up and going. And I'll also leave a link on the top left of the series. And I think we are on episode 14 or something like that. Today, I'm gonna to keep it short and simple where I'm gonna just show you guys my most used and most favorite app that I install on my Docker that basically I use every day. And again, mainly I wanna hear about what you guys use so I could start researching out and seeing which one's great and not. I am also looking for a teleprompt uh, Docker if you guys know of any. Anyway. Besides that point, let's jump into it. So here we have our portainer. Um, you guys should be familiar with looking at this setup. Actually, I haven't upgraded this in a little bit, maybe a couple of months. So I might be behind in the version. I'm not too sure, but 2.13.1. And I only have about seven containers on this because I recently updated this to something else. So I'm starting to put my containers back in there. Now, the main container that I use right now is called the snippet box. And this thing is amazing. This basically is the thing that I use most in my portainer or my Docker setup because it could retain all my code, script, links, everything that I want. Now I did use a bookmarking tool before just for HTML links, but I found it to be a little bit easier to keep everything all in one place just for the ease of everything. So here I jump into my snippets and I have a bunch of stuff over here that I use, especially like when I'm working on projects, like right now I'm actually working on Kados and I have a bin FMT patch. I'm working on something like this just so I could get um, actually Steam working on the Kados, the newest version. So I was really interested in looking into uh, stuff like this. I even have hyperlinks for certain things that I'm looking for, like Firefox now installs as a snap pack in, on Ubuntu. And I don't like the fact because I can't use a lot of my programs to transcode. Anyway, I actually have like a quick snippet of where to find um, how to install it back as a deb instead of using as a snap package. I have a uh, few codes too. Like uh, I was working with box 86 and box 86 and box 64 requires a 32 bit user land. So basically I have this quick thing that I have together that will give me the entire 32 bit uh, user land. So all I have to do is instead of looking into this, I know exactly what it works. I can just hit copy code, go into a terminal and paste that code for the board that I'm working with. So everything just works right out of the bat with that. That's why I really like this snippet box because it actually just pulls everything that I need. Uh, same thing with self-signed certificates. If I need it, I could just copy code and it'll self-sign the certificate for me. So I love using this a lot, like religiously. And the most recent thing, like I said, I'm working with the Kados from here. Um, this was a video that I did a couple of days ago, which is the co-pilot. I just copied a backup of it, basically read text from image. And if you view, this is a Python code and you can mark it as such, just name it Python or something like that. Adding code to this, I could just go into the editor and just basically type in whatever I want. The best thing about this is that I could use anything I want. H hyperlink, shell, Python, HTML, whatever I have, I could just Put it as a code. And the main thing is that if I go into home, I can search for all my stuff. So I really do like all my stuff in one place. And yeah, this is a great application that I use. Anyway, to get this installed, it is in my app template. You just have to go into app template and search for snippet box. Oop, not up here, but down here. Snippet box right here. Click here and then deploy the container. That's all it is to it. It's really simple to get it installed. And then you'll have a URL to 510 or 5010 and it'll bring you to this screen. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. I, like I said, I was just going to keep this short and simple. But if you guys have 
seriously like dockers that you use all the time similar to something that i'm just showing you like a snippet box or uh lyrics or whatever it is and you guys want to talk about it hit it down in the comments below or join my discord and shoot some information over there because i'm always interested to see what dockers i could replace this with or use more of because there are so many dockers out there that i haven't experimented with or a lot of people don't know about and i'm just trying to share the word with everyone if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say in my nerd cave hack till it hurts